Yeah. <laughs> You're amongst friends. I have to say hats off to the Weather Underground in the room. I actually bring clips from you guys. Um, as, uh, I have a section in my talk called Actual White People. Uh, you know, um, I had to bring some white role models. So, uh, so it's great to listen to all of y'all speak and just hear what's, what you're passionate about and why and, and, and hear the experience in the room, um, hear the hope in the room and the strength, a lot of, a lot of all of that. And um, I'm going to talk about uh, something somebody mentioned earlier, which is you know race um, and the justice aspect of the movement and the individual role that we can play in, in taking that. I think there's a, um, a wonderful flip side to what Rob? Rob. Mm -hmm. To what Rob said, which was, you know, by taking care of everybody, we take care of ourselves. And also by, by like, taking care of ourselves, we, by keeping ourselves in check, we take care of the larger population as well. And that's something that's a passion of mine. It's like, where's the accountability in our individual relationships, in our, in ourselves? You know, are we breathing our talk? <laughs> you know, walking our talk? I'm really practicing it. Um, and I just want to say, uh, just, um, just listening to everybody talk, it's just, I know that this is a constant, just the constant thing, like, right, how do you reach the young people? Um, and, I, 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 and I think that there's a, there's a piece just from where I'm coming from. Um, when I look at, like, the, the, what we might call, like, the liberal left or whatever, I sometimes see a lack of joy. Like, I feel like the liberals are pissed at everything. <laughs> you can never do anything right, you know? Like, you can try as hard as you can, but you can be the first black president and they'll still get pissed off at you. <laughs> and so, um, so I wonder, like, can we find a way to be joyful? You know, because there's even, even in the, 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 like, the craziest Republicans, people look at them and they're shiny. You know, and you're like, I want what they have, and that's why they're compelling. <laughs> and so I, I'm, a, I'm totally the mindset of let's see how the other people who are kicking our ass and doing it, and let's steal their techniques. <laughs> um, so there's that. So I think that's a feeling. And also, well, lying, yeah. I mean, try it. We have to try to do it. So I'm going on. But the other piece too is I think respecting that there's, um, that there's a. Uh, I think we need to come to a different relationship with capitalism. Instead of just deciding it's completely bad and, and kicking it out the window, we need to understand that there's a way to practice capitalism responsibly and beautifully, and that the young people are interested in that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that I'm all about the people bottom line, and that there's a way to really reinvest using capitalism to our advantage. And um, why not try that? So that's what I'm interested in. So I hope you guys come and. And it's going to be such, you're such a different crowd than I'm used to. I'm used to like college kids and mostly kids of color who are just like, you know, need somebody to kind of take the load off. So it's going to be fun talking to you guys. <laughs>